Today we're taking a look at the new Excalibur Twin Strike for 2021. But before that, be sure and hit the subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so that you are entered to win the Bear Whitetail Legend package that we're giving away on our YouTube channel when we reach 5,000 subscribers. Welcome back to Mike's Archer's YouTube and today we are going to be taking a look at the brand new Excalibur Twin Strike double barreled crossbow. So frankly this is a very unique piece of equipment. It was something we had heard was coming from Excalibur for the last few months and we've been excited to get it in our hands just to really see what it looked like, how it felt, and really what it kind of encompassed. It's very unique and I would say probably one of the most innovative things we've seen in the crossbow market in quite a few years. Frankly, technology on crossbows really hasn't changed um, other than getting faster and maybe a little narrower and that type thing. And with Excalibur, there's not a whole lot there because it is a recurve crossbow. So it's not a compound crossbow they are somewhat limited on what they can do on size and speed and things of like that without really beefing up the front ends, which they've done over the last few years and most certainly gotten them narrower as they've come along. This is built on the micro platform. So it is the smallest platform that Excalibur has been able to go to. Uh, for seeing them getting much smaller than this with a recurve platform just probably isn't going to happen. But this thing being at 25 inches uncocked and around 21 inches when it's cocked has been the smallest platform they've come up with. Now what they did different here is they completely integrate everything and stacked it double. So we've got two sets of limbs, kind of looks like a split limb crossbow because it is, but it's truly completely separate sets where with a compound you would have the cam sitting in between here. They've literally just strung this thing up on both sets of limbs and put two sets of strings and where a compound crossbow would normally have your cables underneath running through the barrel. They've taken this bow and put a completely separate set of string and limbs there and allowed you to slide an arrow internally top and bottom on this bow which has created a double barrel crossbow something we have obviously never seen before now a few of the specs on this bow it is factory spec speed is going to be 360 feet a second we'll show you over the chronograph here in a little bit what this one was shooting that we got in uh, we threw this thing on the scale we don't expect crossbows to really be light uh, we don't know what the factory spec what they're calling it but it doesn't really matter i guess we threw this on the scale with everything and got 13.6 pounds. Now, when we say everything, that was leaving the charger crank on there. That was leaving the quiver with four arrows in it. Uh, we even threw in your cocker here for the charger. So that's everything that you would be packing at 13.6 pounds. Now, we took the charger crank off. We took the quiver off and we got that down to 11.4. So this crank is fairly heavy. Uh, if you're familiar with the charger crank, it snaps on and off very easily and quickly. So... It does add a couple pounds of weight to this setup. But overall, it's about what we expect. And when you throw two sets of limbs, everything in there double, it's just going to beef the weight up a little bit. So it is coming in a little heavier than most model crossbows. They did use the 285-pound front end on this bow. And so you've got two sets of 285-pound limbs on the top. And the overall length on it uh, is 30 inches from the butt stock to the front of the bow. And then with the stirrup out there, you've got another 5 inches. So it's 35 inches uh, out front but overall a fairly compact model crossbow from Excalibur for their platform now they did come up with a new scope for this year and they've thrown the overwatch scope on here it is a speed rated scope so you can adjust this scope to set your reticles at the speed of the bow uh, it is a high-end scope uh, 100 yard reticles in there so a really high performance pinpointing type scope uh, multicolored, lighted uh, red and green so just a really nice platform scope that they've thrown on top of this. They also have the level built into the stock in the back. So that's something just so when you're looking there and trying to shoot, I think this is going to be a little more critical, especially when you're pulling that second trigger, uh, that you have this bow level when you shoot it. But they've integrated that level into the back. I know several other companies have had them as a piece here on the scope rail in some way, shape, or form. But it just gives you a little more... Uh, confidence in those longer range shots if you keep everything level. The single safety works both triggers. So when you're flipping this off and on, you need to be aware when you're cocking it or when you're shooting it, when you flip that to fire, you can pull both triggers. I can say that you can pull both triggers, but don't. Um, it's not something that Excalibur recommends you should do. It's not something that we're going to recommend you can do. From a cool factor, I guess, hey, that's kind of nifty, but it's 
going to definitely impede uh, accuracy. You're going to get some jerk. You're not going to be able to pull both triggers simultaneously because they are quite a quite a far piece apart here. So there's a pretty good space between the first and second trigger. So pulling them exactly at the same time is virtually impossible. It's just something you shouldn't do. But the dual triggers look very cool. Um, and with them being so far apart, one of the things I noticed when we were shooting it out there and testing it, um, it's a little confusing. You know, if you're not sure, you need to shoot the top one first and the sec the bottom one second. But it's, you know, getting your finger in there and making sure you're on the right trigger, having both those triggers available. Uh, it, it may be a little confusing in the heat of the moment when you're hunting, being able to reach out there and make sure you're grabbing the right trigger and making it shoot. When you're looking at the dual triggers and the dual safety, it is fully ambidextrous on both sides. So the safety is available uh, left or right handed and so are the triggers. So nothing has changed there with this bow as Excalibur's or most crossbows are ambidextrous, but it's very nice that they put it on both sides and that single safety lever works both triggers at the same time. From there, some of the accessories that they've included in this package, uh, they've put the string stops up front. It does have a dual set of string stops for the top and bottom set of limbs. It does come with what I would consider a premium style quiver. It's clearly built off that tight spot platform uh, with carbon rods, uh, very compact, uh, a nice uh, adjustment system here, left or right for either side and just a quick detach dovetail slide on that, which worked very smoothly. We did notice the stirrup up front is a solid stirrup. We kind of thought looking at it as we were putting it together, it would have been nice to have that as a folding stirrup, maybe to drop down and be somewhat of a, a bipod type situation to give more stability there. You know, as a tactical new nifty item, that would have been kind of a cool feature, but they did not include that. It is just a solid standard foot stirrup up front. Now, this, the crank system, the charger crank, has been around for a while. The easy on and off of it. It's very smooth, and it is a silent crank system. So that's an, a very nice feature on this high-end bow, the fact that you can crank this silently, and it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure. Everything's nice and compact, snapping into place, and it is very smooth when you pull it back. And I think it only takes about 10 pounds of pressure to crank one of these crossbows back, which makes it very nice for even... Uh, a smaller kid or a woman, you're going to be able to crank this thing back and it does come with that charger crank system built into it. The other thing that they built into this crossbow with this charger crank, it takes a special tool, but you can decock this crossbow with the crank system. So that's a really nice feature as well. Most crossbows out there, you don't have the ability to decock it. A few of them do, um, but Excalibur in the past, it's been kind of a can you, can't you. Uh, there's ways to do it, but not something that you could have done with a crank system. This one's built in and comes with the extra piece here that holds the safety in place and allows you to decock both the top and bottom limbs on this with the crank system quite easily. And we messed with that a little bit. Uh, once you get it figured out and where that piece needs to go, it's a pretty easy system. And that is very nice having the ability when you come out of the woods or when you're done for the day, you can decock this bow without shooting it if you don't have a situation where you can shoot an arrow off. And speaking of the arrows, it is using the quill bolt, the 16 and a half inch quill that Excalibur has had for the last several years on that micro platform, but it does use a special knock. It has the new Rhino knock that's built into it. And when you slide these arrows in and they do slide in the very front of the bow and then go all the way back, you'll hear the, an audible click. Uh, it's almost like a, uh, a safety feature in there. If you don't have those all the way back, it does have an anti-dry fire system, so you can't shoot it if the arrows are not in place. But when you place those arrows and slide them into the rails, you're going to hear that audible click so that you know you've got that arrow completely in place. It's also going to limit you in having to buy the Excalibur arrows for this. Now, it is still a flat cap like their other arrows, but they've never had that locking system in there, and you're going to need that to shoot in this bow regardless of what you use. Now, let's be honest. This is a really cool piece of equipment that they have come up with. And frankly, I think it's going to get a lot of people talking and a lot of people looking at it. Practically, I'm not sure from a hunting standpoint that there's a whole lot of practicality in this setup. Now, when you do get it set, you are one inch different from the top and bottom rails. When you get this thing dialed in at 20 yards, then the top arrow should hit dead on. Your bottom arrow should hit an inch lower. That's nice so that you're not really off when you're shooting it but we tried to think of situations where this would be a practical you know 
functional system with two arrows and double barrels. We understand the idea that you know now you don't have to cock the bow if you need to get a second shot off. But in a whitetail situation, it's pretty rare that you're going to get a second shot. But I guess it's nice that you've got a preloaded second arrow there that you can shoot. Outside of that, you know, maybe if you were hog hunting uh, or in a situation where you need to shoot multiple times, then this might be a nice feature to be able to have two arrows loaded, ready to go, and you've got a herd of hogs that comes in, you've got 10, 15 hogs there in front of you, and you're able to pull off two shots with a crossbow rather than just your single shot and then having to cock the bow. You know you're never going to get a second round for the most part, especially if you've got to crank it. It takes a little time to reset the any bow any crossbow and with two of them to reset both of them it's going to take extra time so the cool factor is there the practical factor we're struggling to see um, but if it's something that you got to have and and frankly you see that need and, and it's nice to have then this is definitely something you need to look at price point on this bow is going to be $19.99 so you're right there at two thousand um, dollars thousand bucks per trigger I guess if you want to look at it that way so let's, uh, let's take this thing outside, go ahead and shoot it over the chronograph. We've also got a decibel meter set up to kind of give you an idea of how loud the bow is when we shoot it as well. And uh, we'll take out and look at some of the features and what this bow has to offer. So we're going to shoot this over the chronograph a couple times. And we've also got a decibel meter going as well just to kind of pick up how much noise this bow is giving off. Uh, it's something we're going to include in some of our videos that we're testing. So let's take a shot over the chrono and see what this bow puts up. So we're in the mid 350s again on speed and just to check here uh, that first shot we've got uh, just shy of 113 decibels uh, 112.8 we're going to shoot a second shot here and see if that varies any at all all right so let's take a second shot here and see what the the lower barrel puts up all right again 353 so again right there in the mid 350s and as far as the decibel meter uh, went up just a little bit to 114.9 so a little bit louder there out of that second rail just some comparisons there uh, to kind of give you an idea of how loud this bow is when it goes off but the new twin strike is supposed to be 360 feet per second from the factory we're basically getting right there in the mid 350s it's very as low as 352 all the way to 357 so it's kind of bouncing around a little bit but for the most part right there in the mid 350s and that could be a difference of chronographs um, you know where you shoot over the chronograph can fluctuate some of those things but overall this bow is still performing real close to right where factory spec is supposed to be uh, top and bottom rail does vary a little bit it looks like but i'm sure that's just from friction where it's nothing to, to be concerned you could get that just by playing with arrow weight or difference in fletching or something so but overall it uh, feels good it's a little heavy but um, it's very unique uh, to say the least with those two triggers it's a little different to get used to with setting the safety and then of course pulling two triggers making sure you're on the right trigger uh, when you're ready to go uh, could create a little bit of confusion maybe uh, in the heat of the moment in a hunting situation but uh, man just a, a crazy unique item here from Excalibur so if this is something you're looking to get into with the latest technology from Excalibur with the Twin Strike, be sure and give us a call here at Mike's Arch and we'll be sure and get you set up.